So I feel like people don't always really realize that it's actually kind of dangerous to be a CNA, especially in the field that I work in. I work with people who have Alzheimer's and dementia. And when somebody has Alzheimer's and or dementia, um, they tend to get confused. Um, they get frustrated really easily. They have a hard time focusing sometimes. And all those things just add up together and they build up and they create this acting out rage um, sometimes. So I kind of wanted to talk about my very first injury at my new job um, as a CNA. And it happened last week. I want to say, yeah, last week. Um, I was caring for a resident who I'm not sure if she has Alzheimer's, but she definitely has dementia. Everybody that lives on my unit has either dementia or Alzheimer's or both. Um, but I was helping her get into the bed. So I had just changed her into a gown. Um, I made sure that she was comfortable and I was ready to leave the room. So what happened was as I was pulling up the sheets, on her bed and pulling up the blankets so then you know she's covered and she's gonna be warm um, I don't know if she got startled or confused or didn't understand what was going on but she kind of lashed out at me and first of all she just grabbed my arm which she does that sometimes especially if you are trying to like um, change her brief or you know um, help her get into a gown she gets confused and so she gets frustrated and she doesn't understand why you are taking her clothes off um, even if you've explained it. So, you know, I was pulling up the, the blankets, like I said, and she grabbed my wrist. And, you know, she tends to dig her nails into people and so I thought maybe, you know, it was just one of those instances where she's gonna dig her nails into my wrist and then she lets go because that's what she usually does. Um, you know, the worst thing that's ever happened from her with me before was she swung on me and I think once she hit me in the stomach, but other than that, you know, she had never done anything like she did that night that I got hurt. And what happened was as she grabbed my wrist, it was like she got even more angry and frustrated and she ended up taking my arm and kind of just going like this. But when she did that, there was a bed rail right there. So she um, she ended up slamming my hand slash wrist into the bed rail. And we don't have like regular bed rails. It's really kind of like the shape of a cane with the rubber handle on it um, to kind of help them sit up and stabilize themselves before they stand up. Some of our rooms have actual bed rails on them but others majority of them just have like that cane shape bed rail um, so that's what hers had and that thing hurt I feel like it would have hurt kind of worse if it would have been an actual bed rail um, but you know her bed rail still hurt and I ended up having to go file an incident report with um, the coordinator for the night um, and she was really nice, you know, she was concerned, obviously, um, my wrist was swelling up at this point and she gave me some ice. She asked me if I wanted to, um, go get it checked out to make sure everything was okay. And I said yes, because I didn't know if I had like sprained my wrist, if there was a, a hairline fracture or, you know, something like that. I didn't feel like it was a big break. I felt like maybe it was a hairline fracture or a sprain because it swelled up so fast and it was just immense, immense pain. So she ended up having one of the other CNAs who worked on the third floor escort me um, to the hospital. Now, in my facility, we have the nursing home on one side, and then there's a long hallway that connects us to the hospital. So I had to walk down that long hallway, and that's why they had another CNA escort me, is just because I had never actually been on the hospital side 
Um, and that CNA, because she worked on the third floor, the third floor is our rehab floor, um, a lot of times they have they would have to bring like residents from the third floor over to the hospital to get like x-rays or MRIs and things like that because it's a rehab unit and they're not really supposed to be staying there for a super long time um, like the other floors at my facility but she had me escorted over there and I sat in the emergency room for maybe an hour um, they did x-rays of my wrist um, I did not have to pay for any of the medical treatment or evaluation that I received in the emergency room which is a really great thing that my job does um, you know some jobs I've had jobs in the past where I've gotten hurt and they tell you that you have to pay for it but um, you know they used workers compensation whatever to um, pay for my treatment and evaluation in the emergency room and it ended up just being a bone bruise but you know I just want to say take it from me that you need to be careful around residents who have dementia and Alzheimer's I'm not saying that this is going to happen frequently it can and it does and you will have residents who lash out at you, who get angry, who get confused, who don't understand what's going on. Um, and that's just part of dementia and Alzheimer's and you have to deal with that um, as part of your job. And if you feel like that's something that you wouldn't be able to handle, then I would have to say working in a memory care setting is probably not the right choice for you. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. I'm back to work normally. Um, I didn't have any restrictions the next day or anything. And I've been working ever since. I'm a little bit hesitant, um, you know, when she starts to get angry because I remember what happened. Um, but she hasn't really lashed out at me other than to just say, ow, um, because she has like a couple of wounds on her leg um, where no matter what you do it hurts her um, if she's straightening out her legs or if you're rolling her to change her brief um, you know she says ow because it hurts and um, you know I don't know I just wanted to share that story because you know it's just part of working in memory care and um, you know even though you have times like that where you may end up getting injured um, it's still a very rewarding field to work in, in my opinion, um, because you do see those lows, but there's also these really, really great highs and, um, you know, you get to see these moments of clarity in these people who, you know, I've had residents who one second they're basically speaking gibberish or mumbling to the point where you don't understand what they're saying and then the next second they're telling you about their past and it's so nice to be able to see, you know, and learn more about who they are as a person before this disease process um, overtook them. But anyways, that's all I wanted to share. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like more CNA videos or stories um, about what I deal with at work, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to share them with you. Obviously, you know, I can't give s super specific information due to HIPAA, but um, I just wanted to share that with you for anybody who's looking to become a CNA or who is a CNA and just wants to hear what other CNAs have to deal with. So that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys again soon.